we're going in the yurt. Oh yeah, yeah, we're going in the yurt. Um, we just had guests last night, so it's a bit of a mess. Also, the lighting is going to be a little bit different. So this was the first accommodation. Um, we got inspired. There's a my mom was on Craigslist. So this was our first accommodation. Um, found it on Craigslist advertisement. It's built by a woman-owned company called Blue Ridge Mountain Yurts. And we built it in 2011. Pretty cool way that this whole thing is set up though. We built the deck the day before and then on a big tractor trailer, um, the whole kit arrived and we built this all in a day. Yeah, not, not the inside, but the framework. So it's a lattice work. There's a band that goes around the bottom of it lattice work and then all of the rafters connect to the central ring that actually it's slightly cockamamie and at the very end you tighten it and the whole thing locks in place it's really a really that's cool that's really experience. cool so the wall the walls are made out of cloth um as is the roof too um this all is you the, people out there who want yurts this is <laughs> this is what it looks like and so far i want one yeah it i'd be definitely i mean i'm had some hard lessons. It's great as like a short-term accommodation. Long-term, I would get a hard-sided yurt. So, um, but the cost, you can't beat the cost of it. So if I'm like turnkey, which like, we were lucky because we already had the septic system here, as well as a water accessibility and electrical. So those costs weren't there, but you probably want to add on quite a bit if you're looking at doing those things. Um, I think it was $50,000 for this whole thing. Yeah. So fifty thousand dollars. Yep, that was it. Can I walk upstairs? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So that was when well, I mean, we got everything like scratch and dent and and that manner. Um, but some of the issues definitely in winter time, it's cold, um, and water, because we're in uh, a very wet environment that we do have we do contend with water quite a bit in a cloth structure. And our friends that are bugs. <laughs> bugs is not a bug group building, it's a big tent. But again, it's really fun. It's really peaceful, it's beautiful in a rainstorm. Um, you really feel connected to that. You can hear the rooster. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah. So I'm looking up here. Well, that's one, two, three. You can easily come, you can comfortably fit three people up here. Yeah, and then there's a bed here, and then this is also a bed. So we have it for as large as groups of eight. Wow, in a fifty thousand dollar yurt. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we've done a lot of work since then. Um, you know, upkeep, maintenance. We have to do appliances every couple of years, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. But yeah, this is pretty much. And it. In, in, it is probably the agritourism footprint where you're trying to be sustainable as possible. So. Yeah. Looks like you got the wood stove right here. That's actually a uh, propane gas one. Never mind. Um, we <laughs> used to do, so that was a big thing we learned. We used to have functional wood stoves, but least common denominator. You want something that like dealing with people trying to light fires, like, trying to get them to light a bonfire or like a, that that in itself is pretty terrifying at times, seeing the ineptitudes. I'm sorry, not ineptitudes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. Just seeing, people have never experienced that. They've never done it before. Yeah. And you just need to be cognizant of that when mm -hmm. you're asking them. And so a lot of the time I'll ask like, oh, have you lit a fire outside? No? Okay, let me show you some basic safety rules and regulations. There's a hose here, you know. Can you explain the general, so there's no, there's no basement. No, it's, there's no basement. It's, it's a two single, floors. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's two floors, floor and a half, I guess. Yeah. So it's one, one main bedroom, and this this looks like you can close this guy off. Yeah. You, you can. can. You want some privacy? You can close that. I mean, again, people just left here, so enjoy this rough <laughs> bed. <laughs> um, yeah, this is like the master bedroom, and then there's a full bathroom um, with a bath in it. Um, oh wow. Yeah, so they have their own private tub and like a nice shower and everything. So. Um, yeah. Yes, people really love it. This is the, definitely the most popular one. It's not my personal favorite, but yeah. it's the personal favorite of Care Pro. Well, yeah, I guess it's our most it's our most popular accommodation for sure. So. And you say, and you, remind me, it took you a day to put this whole thing up. Not the inside structure, but the outside structure. But we had a large crew of people. We actually had some friends visiting from France 
who brought their friends who were also visiting from France, who only spoke French, but they're construction workers in France. And so they like, this whole thing was erected and they were trying to speak to us in like broken English French. It was really fun. And they were like, no, no, no. And like, like directing us. And we're like, oh, thank, good. thank goodness they were here. So, I mean, we obviously had scaffolding up here and we probably had a crew of like 10 people um, putting the whole thing together. But and it was one of the first ones that Blue Ridge Yurts had, had built too. Um, in like this capacity and so a lot of people come here when they're looking at purchasing from them so it's kind of nice so like we have a really good relationship with them and whenever we need repairs they're really like on it with us because they're like you sent us so much business <laughs> over the years we're like you're welcome but yeah all right well it's really fun to be in now like, well, we've had thank you manny i appreciate yeah. it um sure. showing me around this is really awesome and maybe one day i'll have a yurt who knows yeah. i'll send do you it. send you a pm if i do <laughs> <laughs> thank you sure.